Hello everyone, this is Deepak Bari and today we will learn about the intra-VLAN. So intra-VLAN is different from the inter-VLAN. In the inter-VLAN scenario, we have used the router, the switch and some end devices. But here in the intra-VLAN, we will use the switch and some end devices. We don't need the router here. So let's start with the opening with Cisco Packet Tracer. So basically what we need here, a switch. So let's take a switch. In my case I am using the 2950T. So just drag and drop. And take some end devices. So let's take some pieces from here. Okay, fine. So now let's connect this PC with a cable, and in this case, we will use this copper straight through cable. Just hold down the control key and select this cable for multiple choices. So we have chosen to select multiple times. So let's connect all the cables with appropriate devices. Now this is the last one, first Ethernet 0 slash 5. Okay, so the concept is we will assume about the fictional something just like sales, purchase and accounts department and they will communicate with each other for their departments and they will not communicate to each other with each computers. But here the intra -villain, it's not limited to only the computers, it also applies on the printers and all the network devices. So let's move ahead. So it will be better if we will take a note here. So it will convenient for us to understand the scenario of this network. So before taking the notes, let's enable the labels so here the always show port labels in logical workspace just checked it and it will convenient for us to understanding the which port is going to which pc or device so as we, as we can see the first ethernet 0 slash 2 is directly connected to the pc 0 now let make some note here so this is the icon of note and this is the Cisco packet tracer version 7.3 I guess and if you have the older version so it is fine but if you are using the another simulator so it's also fine there's no problem the concept is same so just take a note here suppose this computer belongs to the sales department and this computer also belongs to the sales department and suppose this computer for the marketing department and this also for the marketing and this uh, just account department and this will not communicate it will totally isolate so don't care about this for this time Okay, so meanwhile it will be better if we assign the IP addresses so suppose the IP address of this PC0 would be 10.1 slash 24 and for the marketing this would be 10.2 And this would be the 10.3 
it is all the class C IP addresses 192.168.10.4 slash 24 and in account preference also let's say 10.5 slash 24 okay so if we just ping right now with this devices so they will communicate with each other easily but we don't need this scenario for this time so what we need here we just want to implement the sales department will communicate with this sales department only and this sales department cannot access this computer or this computer or this network computer and as you can see it's already resides within a network which is the 10.0 network which is a class c network and this is the whole a single broadcast domain and we will create a virtually partitioned lo local area networks within this broadcast domain And subsequently in other cases like marketing will access only the marketing PC and marketing won't be able to access the sales or the account department PCs. So but now for this case let's assign the IP addresses on the end devices. So 192, 168, 10.1 close here. And open the marketing this one this should be 192 168 10.2 give the IP address of this marketing PC Okay, so we need to give all the IP addresses here. It's not the auto complete. So 192, 168, 10.4. Then use the type key. Then go to the next PC account. Then 192, 168, 10.5. The submit mask. As usual 255.255.255.0 and let's ping to each devices for now it will ping to each other and as it was expected the successful message so for this scenario they can ping right now we will configure will end shortly So this is the single broadcast domain so this is called the intra vlan so this is not going the multiple broadcast domain here so let's configure the vlan in this switch okay let me increase the font size where the font size Now it's fine, I think. That. Okay, pretty good. So first thing we need to give these commands configure terminal for the global configuration mode, and we will give this VLAN. Suppose sales department will assign with VLAN2. So create a VLAN by giving this command VLAN2 and give the name of this VLAN as sales and exit from this mode and give the another VLAN for 
free and this will assign for the marketing excuse me marketing and exit from here and the third one is for the account which is there okay so give the command google entry name account okay then exit from here now exit from here also then check the VLANs show VLAN brief by giving this command and this is the VLAN which we have created excuse me the sales and account oh, okay so we have just rewrite or the overwritten our the marketing with the account so we need to fix that by giving the command configure terminal because it overrides with the previous values so vlan3 which resides for the marketing then exit from here then this belongs for the vlan4 so correct it and give the name of account then exit again from here and check again the vlan okay so we have the three VLANs the sales the marketing and the account one and we will assign all the VLAN in each ports so let's do it go to the global configuration mode and select a port suppose this port and this port belongs to the PC0 yeah fast ethernet 0 slash 2 Select the interface first with the net 0 slash 2 and give this following command switch port mode axis then switch port axis and the number of VLAN suppose this belongs to the sales so this will assign with the VLAN number 2 so give the VLAN number 2 and then exit from here and select the another interface first ethernet 0 slash 1 which is for marketing I guess yeah this is for market marketing then give this command switch for mode axis then switch port axis VLAN and marketing belongs to the VLAN 3 then exit from this mode and select the another interface consequently 0 slash 3 3 is for I think also the marketing and due to this also the marketing so we will give the same command as above switch port access VLAN 3 because it also assigns for the marketing then exit from this mode and select the another interface first ethernet 0 slash 4 which is for sales and give the switch port mode axis then switch port axis VLAN which was 2 I guess yeah. VLAN number 2 then hit down the return or enter key then exit from this mode then select the last one the account department the first ethernet 
0 slash 5 and give the same command it's easy as it seems then switch port axis this will be the different VLAN so this is for the VLAN 4 I think yeah let's rewrite it with VLAN 4 hit down the enter key then exit from here exit from here then check the VLAN table again okay so as we can see the VLAN 2 which is for sales which belongs for the sales which is active in its states and the assigned ports is first ethernet 0 slash 2 and first ethernet 0 slash 4 which is the first ethernet 0 slash 2 and this is the first ethernet 0 slash 4 which is for sales and the next one is for the marketing marketing has also the two ports the first ethernet 0 slash 1 and this is 0 slash 3 and for the account the only a single port is assigned which is first ethernet 0 slash 5 so save this command by giving the copy running config Excuse me to this startup config so it will ask for the rewrite this startup config file so it is necessary to give the permission just hit down the return key or the enter key and it will save all the commands so now close the CLI it is not needed for this right now and let's check the ping test again at the simple videos so this is the marketing and this is the marketing it should ping to each other and as you can see the successful status appeared and if sales would like to ping with marketing which is not possible which we have already configured the VLAN so let's test it whether it will success or not yeah as we have expected it is failed because of what we have wanted then sales will ping with the sales computer and let's check with the ping open the command prompt one ninety two one sixty eight ten dot three and we are getting the reply from this PC the marketing PC but if you would like to ping from the accounts let's check it what happens it should failed okay request timeout minus packet is dropping there Okay, fine. So we have achieved our goal for partitioned the virtual network within the same broadcast domain. This is called the intra VLAN. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you understand this. So if you have any problem or any doubts regarding this scenario, so you can write down the below box and I'll try to resolve those. And thanks for watching this video guys and guys see you on the next video.